Dubious ones, welcome back for some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Today we are going over the heated debate of is Whis going to break the game online? Is he going to ruin everything that you've been working for as you grind your way through the ranked mode? Well, we are going to take a look, see here, and find out what everybody's talking about and just why they're talking about it. So let's get underway here. So first of all, credit to Ozaro for all of this gameplay footage we are looking at right here. Links will be down in the description. Make sure you go give them a follow, get hit them a smash, smash that subscribe button for them, and go check out some more of their Sparking Zero content. But Ozaru was kind enough to share this with us, where we see right here, we indeed can be hit. The controversy comes in when, oh sorry, that was Beerus, but the controversy comes in when you try and do regular attacks on him. He is in Ultra Instinct mode all the time, but it doesn't deplete his key at all. So you'll see in his energy bar here, Ultra Instinct Goku is the same way as he'll dodge all your regular attacks and your um, regular key blasts, but it'll deplete his, um, his key bar as you do it, whereas for Whis, it does not. So people were thinking, are you unable to hit Whis at all? That is not the case. You are able to hit Whis with grab attacks, you're able to grab him, and any supers or ultimates. But that's it, from what I understand. So as we'll see here, if you just attack him, he will just dodge everything, right? See, dodging, dodging, dodging. No key lost whatsoever here. But, when you go for, an, and the same thing with regular Key Blast, but if you go for any Super or Ultimate, or a throw of some sort, boom, he will get hit by it. So it has been confirmed, you can throw him. It's not shown in this gameplay here, sadly. Oh, maybe it is. Okay, we've got more. We've got Super Saiyan Go Goku GT. So let's take a look here. We've got a cool transformation for GT Goku here in the Super Saiyan. So hopefully this will show the throw, the grab attack, where you are able to grab him. So right here, so this is the grab attack. So you are able to grab him and throw him, and you're able to use Super Kamehameha, full, full energy, volley blasts, all that stuff. So he'll dead dodge any kind of regular attack, but all of your super attacks or ultimate attacks, as you can see there, you are able to hit him. Now is he able to block those with regular blocks and counters? I'm assuming, of course. So he's still likely going to be the strongest character in the game for that reason. As you can still block supers and ultimates fairly easily, um, unless you combo into them. And again, you're not going to be able to combo into them against Whis. So I don't know if you're able to hit him. If he's going to dodge something like a super attack or something, if you're able to sneak up behind him, attack him, I don't think you are. So. He still will likely be the most broken character in the game. And you're just going to have to be able to get up on him and throw him. But you are able to damage him. Like, here we go again one more time with the throw. As you can see, didn't do a lot of damage. So you're going to take a lot of throws and a lot of power-ups. So he is going to be very, very overpowered. Um, so I'm really hoping with the cost system that's in place... Because each character costs a different amount of points to use on your on your uh, team, I'm assuming in like at least in all rank matches and stuff in the game, there's like a point system, right? So you can have like five people on your team, I think. Um, but you, depending on who you pick on your team, you might not be able to get to that five number. So what I'm saying, say it's a hundred point based system, and say you've got someone like uh, a Yajirobe, and he costs like ten points, right? Like the bare minimum, say, is ten points. Well, let's say Whis then costs 90 points, you know, out of the 100, or even 100 out of 100. So if you pick Whis, he's your only character. I think that's the only fair way. I mean, I understand this game is trying to be lore accurate and everything, but I personally would like to see... I'd like to see it where we at least have, like, a fighting chance against him if you're not picking a team. Because I don't want to see rank just turn into... Everybody has a Whis on their team, and it's just Whis versus Whis, and an annoying super battle. I think that would be kind of lame. Um, so hopefully, 
they have some good balancing in place where it's like if you have a Whis on your team, you can play as Whis, but you're that's all you get. And hopefully your other the your opponent's team has enough supers and ultimates that they're able to actually hit them and take them down with those. Um, because otherwise, ranked will be ruined very quickly with people just having no other choice but to put Whis on every single team, right? So I'm hoping there is some balance there as far as the point scaling. No one's actually shown any of that as far as what the point scaling is going to be for different characters. I have an idea in my head of characters that are a little bit weaker, a little bit stronger. So I have a good team composition in my head for teams that I want to build. Like, say if I had like a future Trunks, like the original from the Frieza Saga with the sword, if I want to say throw him and like maybe a future Gohan with one arm on his team on a team, and then I could put like say a Jiren and a Hit on a team, right? Because Jiren and Hit would probably have super high point values, whereas that Gohan and that Trunks maybe lower. And then maybe I'll have room for like one more on my team. Maybe I can sneak in like uh you know a uh, a Go Tanks or maybe it'd have to be someone lower, like someone on the Frieza Force or something, someone on the Ginyu Force. But like you know what I mean as far as balancing those teams with the team compositions. I have ideas in my head of lower level characters that I would like to use are just some of my favorite characters from Dragon Ball. But I really hope that they just make Whis super expensive. That if you are able to use him in ranked play, that he is like the only member of your team. You know what I mean? And then you're able to have like Ultra Instinct Goku and Beerus and then maybe like a Trunks as like the, the other team, right? Based on the point system. Like if you can do it up that way or something like that. So I am glad to see that there is some way to hit Whis because like, I understand they want to make this game as lore accurate to the show as possible, which, you know, would make Whis the strongest character in the game or any of the angels um, with like Ultra Instinct and like Jiren falling as a close second. And then like, you know, Super Saiyan Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta or whatever, you know, just being in that tier, tier rank. But my oh my. Would I get really sick of ranked really quick if all you play is Whis after Whis after Whis after Whis. Anyways, dubious ones. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys that there was a lot of controversy that you're just not going to be able to hit Whis at all from a lot of the stuff we've seen. And I'm showing you here, you can grab him, can't hit super attacks and ultimate attacks, but that's it. And if he's able to block those the same as anybody else, you're going to have a tough time dealing with him regardless. But it is nice to see there is some way to beat him. There is some way to actually deal damage to him and attack him, right? So that's all I wanted to share with you guys um, for now. Make sure if you have not already, smash that subscribe button. And I will catch you all in the next one, dubious ones. Till then, catch the next one.